Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm here joined by Rashid. Rashid, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing out there? Well, I'm happy to see that you know we're joining you on the couch, uh, of course, watching the Eagles go to the Super Bowl. Oh, God. You know, it, it's It's been rough, man. It's been rough. You know, yes. And, if they win the Super Bowl, I know I will not hear the end of it, although I guess it'll be great for the views because Lord knows there's plenty of Eagle fans that have been running in here. So now that football season is over with, what are you uh, doing these days? Because I, I hear there's some exciting news coming from you. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm starting up uh, my YouTube channel. It's called the Stinking Sports Entertainment Show. Um, it's basically, we can talk about anything you guys want to talk about. Um, if you leave comments in the comment box, um, you can use your favorite wrestling moves and uh, like the like button. And you can also hit the subscribe button as well. Like I said, we can talk about wrestling. We can talk football, whether it's Giants, Cowboys, Commanders, and Eagles. Uh, we can talk some NBA, if you like. So it's going to be all around sports. But I think the avenue I'm trying to go is mostly wrestling. But like I said, we can sidetrack. I ain't got nothing wrong with sidetracking. Well, let me ask you this about the wrestling. How long have you been a wrestling fan? And what makes people want to listen to you and your take on the wrestling? Oh, well, I've been a wrestling fan since I was a kid. Um, my father... Um, would always take me to wrestling matches I would always watch it with my grandfather as well I would sit there and eat some cookies he would the first thing he would do on the weekends is it was off on the weekend he would go to liquor stores right up the street he walked to the liquor store he'd buy me some cookies buy him his drink we sit Saturday morning around 11 12 o'clock and watch wrestling all day long so I've been a big wrestling fan since I was a kid I try to watch as much wrestling as I can um, now that the invention of the internet so you can't miss it so I watch wrestling every day I listen to all the talking heads out there every day and you know even though I listen to talking heads it is just my perspective like um, couple about maybe I would say about a month or so ago I was on your channel and you had me fill in for you while you were preparing the big sub and everything mm -hmm. and I don't know what to talk to your fans about because they obviously are cowgirl fans why we gotta so, be cowgirl fans because y'all crying always every time in the season y'all always cry so we got on here and we started talking and we all started reminiscing about wrestlers and moves and a lot of people commented a lot of people said a lot of things that brought me back down memory lane so mm -hmm. i me and michael are big wrestling fans so i said well let's maybe that's where i can start my channel back up is do maybe a wrestling sports entertainment Podcast. Well, you definitely have to be a wrestling fan if you've got Can You Smell as your ringtone that just went off there. Yeah, I did. My favorite, my ringtone is, uh, it starts off with uh, The Rock, If You Smell, and then Stone Cold's Breaking Through the Glass. So that is my message tone for all you people that message me, especially the bill collectors. That's what that's for, all the bill collectors out there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, so old school then, who's your favorite wrestler back in the day? Now, back in the 80s, I would go with Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. I would go with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh -huh. I would do, um, let me see, who else? I'm trying to, uh, uh, Ron Simmons. I'm going to give my, my support out there, Ron Simmons. And actually, the Natural Butch Reed. What about Jimmy Superfly Snooker? No, we don't the do Iron Jimmy no Sheik. more. We don't do the we don't Iron do Sheik. Iron Sheik no more. We don't Rowdy, do Rowdy Roddy Piper. I do like Rowdy. I do like Roddy Piper. Okay. I do like Roddy I, Piper. I'm, I'm reeling off all the ones that that I knew. Yeah, that he knows. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. Yeah, okay. I like Andre. And I like Andre. You, you weren't a Hulk fan as a kid. Yes, I was, but I don't. You know, Hulk Hogan to me, even I, even I'm going to show him some sympathy because of the back surgeries that he's had. Mm -hmm. So as, as a kid crying when he lost to the Ultimate Warrior, yes, I remember the, that day that he lost to the Ultimate Warrior. I cried my little butt off. But um, as I got older, um, mm -hmm. I realized what type of person that he was in the political and the politics, as they say, yeah. they doing wrestling. So the NWO stuff, I like him and the rock. Uh, Hulk Hogan, The Rock, I like. So I do have a 
thing for Hogan, but it, it's not my favorite wrestler's mm-hmm. favorite wrestler. That would be Stone Cold Steve Austin. So I'm a big Stone okay. Cold, beer swelling, don't like the boss, kick your boss's butt type person. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So when when can we expect the, the channel to be live? Well, we're working on that now. So right now we're doing a lot of uh, podcasts right now. I'll be doing videos every now and then. Once we get to that level where we can do live streams, which I'm really shooting for, um, d- trying to shoot for live streams. I'm trying to shoot for call-ins. I'm trying to shoot like you. You know, mm-hmm. you always said every year you want to make your channel better. And you're mm-hmm. trying to find ways to make it better. So we're going to start off slow. And hopefully one day I can hopefully get to your level. It'll take some time and some years and some effort. But hopefully oh, one shoot, day I can get to your level. Shoot for higher than this, buddy. <laughs> shoot for higher than this. Yeah, so that's the plan. So like I said, it was slowly but surely, you know, uh, the, tor- the tortoise won the race. So we're not the hare. So we're going to take it slow. So like I said, as long as you guys give me input, comment, let me know what y'all want me to talk about, let me know what y'all want to do, I will be very appreciative. All right. Well, we're looking forward to the stinking sports entertainment. Show, channel, podcast. Okay. Anything you want to call it after the stinky sports entertainment part. All right. Well, I can't wait to check that out. You guys, as soon as we get the link for it, we will definitely let you know. Uh, I might try a little bit more wrestling, you know, because I I was watching you guys doing the podcast and doing the reaction and stuff and seeing some of the flips. And and every time they flipped a girl, you're like, man, that's a girl. That's That's a girl. I mean, why are you doing a a girl like that? I can see if it was a girl flipping a girl, but it was guys flipping girls. I was like, whoa. They must have been Eagle fans. They just don't know how to do it. Yeah. Philly, Philly, congratulations. I do want to say congratulations to Philly 500. Congratulations. Hope you guys lose in the Super Bowl, but congratulations. All right. And with that being said, we get ready to roll on out of here. I appreciate your time, Rashid, as always. And um, hopefully we'll get one of your great quotes out there uh, with the wrestling. Yeah, oh, I'm working on it. Run it, Danny. Don't fumble it. Don't, <laughs> Don't fumble, fumble it, it Danny. <laughs> I just Don't, Don't fumble, fumble it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I will never let me live that down. <laughs> you know you're, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it.